All right, this is grade three, module seven, lesson 18. And in this lesson, students are going to be constructing a whole bunch of different rectangles uh, from a given number of squares, little unit squares. And then the idea is with all these different rectangles that can be created with that number of squares, so they all have the same area, let's start looking at their perimeters and see what we notice. So let's get started. All right, so parents and teachers, what we've got here is students are being asked to use 18 square uh, centimeter cubes, uh, centimeter square units right here. So this is a one square centimeter, and the students are being asked to take those 18 square centimeters and then create a rectangle. And so parents and teachers, an easy one is the one that goes right in a row. So I'm kind of lining it up right here. And the idea is uh, once we've created it, then we're supposed to find the perimeter of that rectangle. So I'm going here, I'm going here, I'm still going, I'm almost done with my 18. Trust me, it's not going to take too much longer. And there, woohoo! So there we go. So what does that look like? So what do we have here? So our rectangle, let's see, oh, let's do it in black, has this edge, this edge, this edge, and that edge. Now, notice I, I didn't draw it all perfectly. Parents and teachers, that's perfectly fine. We don't need to freak out about having everything be perfect. But the one thing we do see is, that this is 18 centimeters across, this is one centimeter up, this is 18 centimeters across, and then way over here is one centimeter going down again. So if we wanted to find the perimeter of that, we would need to add up these four numbers. Of course, a shortcut would be to add the bottom plus one of the sides, so 18 plus one is 19, and then times that by two because we have the opposites. 19 times 2 is 38. So we have an, a perimeter of 38. Now the idea is, with those same 18 square units, uh, in this case square centimeters, we're now going to try and create another rectangle that is possible using those same 18. And the idea would be, well, maybe this time they find it that it's it's a rectangle, and I am going to, let's see, I am going to scooch over a little bit and move it over right here. So there is two. Now we're going to make it two units tall. And then I know, because I know my times tables, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There is my rectangle that uses 18 square units. Now, if you don't believe me, pause the video and count the little squares inside. So we see that this is 2 centimeters. This is 9 centimeters, 2 centimeters, and 9 centimeters. And now we need to find the perimeter of this new figure. Because uh, down here, by the way, it says find the perimeter of each of these rectangles. So uh, we're going to keep going. So we know that 9 plus 2 is 11. And then we have another 11 over here. So we're just going to take 11 times by 2, and we get 22. Let's keep going in a nice, organized fashion. Let's see. We have a rectangle that is one unit tall. Then we have a rectangle that is two units tall. What should we try now? Well, we should try a rectangle that is three units tall. Well, if it's going to be three units tall, how wide does it need to be if we're still going to use 18 squares? So basically, three times what is 18? And of course, three times six is 18. Our third graders know that. So there it is. And we have three centimeters here. We have six centimeters here. And we can. I'm going to leave it up to you to figure out what the perimeter of that <coughs> rectangle is. Now, the idea is, <clears throat> what about four? 
can we make a rectangle that is four units tall? So parents and teachers, you might need to give your students 18 square tiles and let them try and build a rectangle that is four units tall and uses all 18 squares. They're not going to be able to do it. And so we're going to keep going. Now, uh, you can't do it with four units tall. You can't build a rectangle that is five units tall either. And so we have now found all of our rectangles. Although, some students might want to say, well, what about a rectangle that is six units tall? Six units tall. One, two, three, four, five, six. And three units wide. That looks like this. So would that be a rectangle that is allowed? Well, the answer to that is absolutely that could be allowed, but we've already found it. We found it right here. It's this one right here. So we don't need to find a rectangle that is six units tall because we already found a rectangle that is six units wide and gives us the exact same rectangle, just rotated. So we don't need any more rectangles. So this one we don't know need. So we have found the three rectangles that are possible. Now it's up to you guys, parents and teachers and students, to find the perimeter of each of those rectangles. So this problem, parents and teachers, this is identical to the previous one, only we've removed the scaffolding. No more grid paper. So parents and teachers, if you have some students who appear to be struggling, uh, give out, pass out the square, the grid paper, and or pass out tiles. Give them 20 square tiles, and uh, let's start building all of the different rectangles that are possible. And of course, we're going to try and go in a nice, orderly fashion. Like we did on the previous slide, we're going to start with a rectangle that is one centimeter tall, and it would be 20 centimeters wide. And then can we do a two centimeter rectangle? Well, yeah, because two times 10 gives us 20. So two units tall, 10 units wide gives us 20 square tiles, 20 square centimeters that we would have. How about a rectangle that's three units tall? Can we do a rectangle that's three units tall? Well, no, because three times what gives us exactly 20 square tiles? Nothing. So we cannot do a square, a rectangle that is three units tall. How about four units tall? Can we use something that's four units tall? Well, in this case, the answer is yep. Because look, four units tall times five units or five centimeters wide gives us 20 square centimeters that we would use. So we have just found our three rectangles that are possible. By the way, the answer is not always going to be three. You're not always going to be able to make three rectangles because sometimes you're going to be given a number of centimeter squares where you can make four, um, four rectangles. Sometimes you'll, the, your tiles will only allow you to make one rectangle. You'll always be able to make at least one rectangle without exception. So I'm going to let you figure out which one of these has the greatest perimeter, the longest perimeter. I'm going to let you figure out which one has the smallest perimeter. And that wraps up a fun one. Third grade, module 7, lesson 18. Students are using tiles to create rectangles, and then they're finding the perimeters. Hey, don't forget, I want you to consider subscribing to my channel.